should do it. Clearly, if somebody sees this caution tape, they will take caution and not cross it. Oh, Dr. Lenny, another successful mission. Hell, did I hear someone say a successful mission? That's right. As senior camp counselor of the fourth degree, it is my responsibility to ensure that all campers and counselors are safe. Hmm, so is that why you put that tape on the edge of the mountainside as well? Of course you don't want someone to just jump right over. Wait, what about the canoes in the lake, don't oh, you? The canoes in the lake, of course. You don't want someone to just get in and trapeze to their detriment. Wait a minute. Did you also put caution tape on the cupcakes in the kitchen? Can't have too much sugar. You know, you never know when somebody may want to eat five delicious cupcakes for breakfast. <laughs> you know, to keep someone like that safe. Wait, 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 that was you? That's beside the point. The point is that the game room is closed. Actually, it's also because of Hey. Hi, camp counselors. Hey, oh man, the game room's closed. I was gonna beat the high score in Street Fighter. I've been practicing in the mess hall all day. It seems like you campers have been spending far too much time playing video games. It's time to get a tan and touch some grass. So on you go. Oh, come on. I'm about to beat the high score. Can't you just make an exception for me this one time, please? Unfortunately, it's like my mentor, the Honorable Reginald 18th. Oh, you... it's, it's, it's okay. I have a great idea. Um, how about we go eat some cupcakes, throw some archery in the mess hall? I mean, I guess I could go for a cupcake. Yes, yes, yes. But you wouldn't want to have too many cupcakes. You know, say five. That was you? That's neither here nor there. Now, out you go. Right, let's go, let's go. <sighs> I told you there's nothing better than some archery and cupcakes. Mm. I need to figure out how to get into that game without anyone noticing. Did you just say something? Uh, yeah, I, I said that I need to figure out how to get some ice cream. Oh, that is another great idea, but uh, I think Dr. Lenny probably put some caution tape on that as well, but uh, some strawberry shortcake would be amazing right now. Oh, let's go. Mm, rocky Road, strawberry cheesecake, white chocolate, which one will I choose? Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll meet you right there. I just need to um, tie my shoe. Whoa! Oh, hey, Steph, where are you going? Uh, do you carry that with you everywhere? First off, what do you mean that? This is Jan the Mannequin, and she helps to remind us all about the pieces of the armor of God, starting with belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, and even the shoes of peace. Hey, Steph, I thought you were behind me. Hey, Chris, we're about to go get ice cream. Do you want to join us? Ooh, ice cream. I think I'll get a strawberry cheesecake. What flavor are you feeling like today? Oh, I chose the whoa, same. Whoa, 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 not you, Jan. Oh. Great. Hey, what did you say? I said great. I'm excited to be in the hot sun outside with the mannequin. First off, she has a name. It's Jan. The mannequin. Now, let's go. And that's about it. Now you should be able to shoot an arrow in style. Okay. <sighs> okay, Chris. You've got this just like Katniss Everdeen. I, 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 I mean, um, like the Green Arrow, or or Hawkeye, or someone like that. <laughs> oh man! Let me try, Chris. This is impossible. No one will be able to get a bullseye. Okay. All right, we got this. Whoa, 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 Vera! Proper archery technique, please. Oh, I got this. I got this. Ready? It's like we oh. say in French: La arrow is la importante. Okay. <gasps> yes! All right! There's no way! What? Ha! I knew all those YouTube videos on archery would pay off. Th this has to be beginner's luck, right? Like, there, there's, is there a magnet in that arrow? No. This is my chance. I think I can distract them and sneak to the game room. Yeah, yeah, you should try again. Oh, um, sure, if, if you say so. I mean, you know, I'm an expert and all. Okay, ready? Watch Chris, so maybe you'll learn. Ready? Fabulous technique! Oh, thank you! What? Uh, Camp Counselor Chris, here. I think you should keep practicing to work on your technique, and I think you should stay and help him. I will teach you, Chris. Let me teach you. Here you I, go. I can't let Vera beat me. Jan, stop looking at me like that. I can, I, you can do this. You can do this, Chris. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. You got this. <laughs> I mean, that was a horrible technique, Chris. <laughs> do not cross. 
That seems like more of a suggestion. What could go wrong? I mean, I've went outside, I did my chores, plus I keep my cabin clean, and I've been here for three years. I think I deserve this. And God wants me to be happy, right? And going in here makes me happy. All right, it's on. Yes. The campers have been doing so well learning about the armor of God that I can't wait to show them the surprise we got them. I know, and Steph is going to be super excited to find out we have Street Fighter 2 and 3 in here. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> I was not scared. Neither was I. <clears throat> Anyways, what are you doing here? Didn't you see the sign on the door and the caution tape? Yeah. Do not cross means do not cross. I did, but I really wanted to meet the height score. And I thought you guys were trying to ruin our fun, but it seems like you guys are trying to make it more fun. Yeah. <laughs> there are reasons why your camp counselors tell you to do something or not to do it. We're not just trying to keep you from having fun. We're just trying to help protect and guide you. If you would have waited, you could have seen the surprise we had when we were ready to show you. Ta-da! It's part of what we've been trying to teach you here at camp with the armor of God. And this week's badge is the Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith? What does that have to do with anything? You'll see. Watch this. Today's Bible Bite is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. And it says this, Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. Because this verse is talking about how the wicked one, the enemy, or the devil would love to shoot at us with fiery darts. Now, we're not talking about real darts here or real fiery darts. We're talking about how the enemy will use uh, temptation to sin or maybe distractions to, to come against us, to have us grow further away from God. And when that happens, we're under attack. But this verse is talking about how we have something to defend us against the darts of the enemy. This verse tells us that when we lift up the shield of faith, that we have a defense against the enemy. So even when the enemy tries to come against us and tries to distract us and tries to tempt us to not follow God, when we have faith, which means we trust in God and we believe in God, even when it seems impossible, when we hold up that shield of faith, when that temptation comes, when distractions come, we know that we can defend ourselves against the enemy. And so every single day, I want you to remember that when the enemy tries to come against us, when the devil tries to come against us, that when we hold up the shield of faith, we put our trust in God, we can withhold and we can withstand the attack of the enemy. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another Bible Bite. We'll see you next time. You see, the enemy, the devil, would love for us to give in to every temptation to distract us from God. Yes, and he would love it. Every time we give in to those temptations, it makes us step further and further away from God. That's why the shield of faith is so important. We need faith to believe that in the hard times, God still has a plan. That's right. We need faith that when we don't get what we want to or think we deserve, God has a plan. We need faith in God's love and sovereignty to believe that His will is better than our will. That's right. Kind of like how your camp counselors asked you not to go into the game room. You should have had faith in your counselors, even if it didn't make sense. Wow, I did not pass the badge test. I should have remembered that the shield of faith can protect me from the enemy's lies, temptations, and even the lies I tell myself. I gave in to the temptation, and I cut through the caution tape. I actually think you deserve the badge, even if you had to learn it the hard way. I agree. Wait, we gotta add the shield of faith to Jan the Mannequin, That's to right. her armor. Because just as the shield extinguishes arrows, faith extinguishes the lies and temptation of the enemy. Hmm. You've earned yourself a cupcake, Dr. Lenny. Hmm. Just one delicious cupcake. How about... This one, yes, delicious, blue, sweet. Oh, I want five cupcakes. Yes, five cupcakes. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna 
I like this shield. I think I'm gonna make one for myself. Look at this. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, snap! Oh gosh, I hope nobody saw that. Anybody here? How? How? How is Vera beating me in archery? She isn't even using proper archery techniques! It's so easy to fall into the idea that we deserve to be happy all the time. And that when things don't go our way, God has forgotten about us. In those moments, we need our faith to help us trust and believe that God loves us and cares for us more than we imagine. The best way to protect ourselves from attacks of the enemy is to use our shield of faith. Like we say in France, la hola, the shield of faith. See you next week at Camp Makeaway. How does she keep doing this?